Hello and welcome along. In this video, we are going to give you an overview of the new production chains that are part of Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we'll go over what they are, uh, what they do, and how you can use them to your advantage to make the most of your crops in game. And uh, starting with what they are, they are sell points in general that you can purchase and use to produce goods based on your crops from the farm. Now, when you purchase one of these, and we will go through how to do that in a moment, uh, you can head into the main menu and about, well, most of the way down, you will find this symbol here. This is the uh, is the conveyor belt uh, with products on it and brings you to the production chain screen. Any production chains that you have purchased, uh, you will find listed under here. So we've got a, a few in here at the moment. We've got the bakery, the cereal factory, uh, great processing, spinnery and grain mill. And importantly, we also have a greenhouse. Now, a greenhouse is not obviously a sell point uh, that you can purchase but it is a placeable you can put on your farm so you can also place these as well under construction you will find them and most of them are listed under production here so you have uh, you've got your factories so most of these are usable in the production chains uh, you've got your greenhouses and those are also usable in the production chains selling points while you can place them down they do not they are sort of end points for production chains so the things the things that are going to take goods in from your farm and produce something out for you to sell that is the factories and the starting points the ones that in the production chains that also appear in the production chain screen are the greenhouses here and, uh, and that is the basics of the buildings that you can have. To purchase a production chain building, uh, you head over to it. We are here at the dairy. And you will find this symbol here, this spanner. If you go up to here, and uh, in this case on PC, it's R. There will be a different key, obviously, on console. And bring it up. And the first time you come to it, if you don't already own it, uh, it will say, do you want to buy building, whatever it is, for the price. Uh, clicking on yes brings up the building has been purchased. And then if you go back into the production chains screen here, you can see that you now have the dairy being added to your list. Now, on this screen here, uh, you will see the various things you can produce. Uh, so in the case of the dairy... Uh, that's the butter, cheese, and chocolate. Uh, and you can see what is required to input to output. So for butter, for example, uh, you need 150 milk, and that will output 130 butter. Now, these items that it outputs, those can sometimes be used in other places. For example, up here, we have the grain mill which outputs flour based on wheat, barley, oat, and sorghum. If you output flour from this, you can then take that and take that to the bakery, and that flour there can then be used to produce something like bread. So it really is, as the name suggests, a production chain. And each of these can be worth more than the last. So if we have a look in here, you'll see that most of the items down the bottom section here of the prices are, are items that are produced by production chains. And if we look under here, you can see the flour. Now, the flour is worth more than, say, the wheat that you put into it. So if you take uh, if you take wheat to the grain mill, uh, for example, and you don't own the grain mill, you will only get 494 euros for it. If you take that in and you produce flour from it, uh, you could then take that to the bakery if you didn't own it, and uh, that would pay you 1,076. If you did own the bakery, that would output bread, and with bread, you can see that uh, that is worth nearly 3,000 euros. What you do need to take into account is the difference between each level. So as I was saying there, if you take wheat, you can see that you lose 
uh, a little bit of volume in doing that production. Not as much to make it not worth doing it, but it's not quite as much as you will make as you as you might think you initially will. Similarly, when you come to take the flour and make bread, you can see the volume of it halves. So again, not quite as pros profitable as the prices might initially seem, but still more profitable than if you were to just sell the ingredients separately. The other thing to take into account in production chains is how often it takes to, uh, how often it will do a uh, an output and how much that output costs. So this will create uh, two per hour, it will do two cycles per hour and, uh, and it will cost uh, two euros to do it. So that is uh, a recipe here the cycle will definitely basically produce 90 uh, liters of bread liters is an odd thing to call it doing bread but 90 liters of bread per hour uh, in here and down the side here you've got your storage which tells you how much of your incoming materials you've got and how much of your outgoing materials are currently stored at that location you obviously need enough materials to produce what you're outputting. So in this example here, we're missing materials because we have no flour in order for the production to process it. Now, when in here, you can select which production to actually have active. So say you want to produce cake and therefore you don't want your flour going into uh, bread. You select up here select deactivate and you see the red dot disappears from the bread it's inactive and now any flour you deliver here will be pushed towards the cake production so one last thing if you want to get rid of a production chain say that you've you've sold all your cows off and you don't want the dairy anymore it would seem in here that you can't actually sell it but because these are treated as placeable items what you can do is go back out here uh you can Go into the build menu, into the construction, and if you select demolish and click on it, yes, I'd like to sell the dairy for 3500 And there it goes. The only downside to that is, as you can see, the dairy has now completely disappeared rather than just being returned. So say you want to have the dairy back, all you have to do, go into construction, go into your factories, look for the dairy which is in here somewhere. There it is. And then you can replace it on your map. Uh, like so. Although in this case, I can't replace it because I don't own the land. So I have some oats in this class trailer that we've harvested from our farm. I'm going to take them into here and show you what happens when you deliver some. Uh, in this case, uh, the delivery point is here. And we just tip this in. So let's tip that. And that is our oats going into the cereal factory. And if we move our tractor out of the way, we can come back now and we can go to the door back here. So you can access it either via the menu I showed you before or on one you own coming up to the spanner and accessing it there. If you access it that way, it will show you straight off the exact one you're working on. And you can see here that we now have 1,734 litres of oats. What we don't have, though, is any corn, raisins, or honey. As a result, we are still showing the materials missing screen here. Um, now, one interesting little side effect of doing contracts with these buildings and it's actually really quite useful owning somewhere like the grain mill and delivering contracts to it you get paid for the contract you also get however many materials you've tipped into your location into your factory those go along with it so say you get 17,000 liters from a contract and you only need 15,000 to complete the contract, all 17,000 litres will go into your factory.
So there we go. That is a brief overview of the production chains in Farming Simulator 22. We are going to be looking more in depth into each of the production chains, what items you need for them and what they output. Please uh, make sure you are subscribed for that. For now, though, uh, I'm going to leave this here, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.